Oh, thanks, Max. Are you coming to my party? You bet. It's not every day we have a celebration like that. How long is it you've been in the fire service? Fifteen years. Fifteen? Wow! That must be almost as long as Barney. <laughs> almost, but not quite. Oh, hi, Barney. I've popped in to see Elfie. Is she round the back? Yes, in her bath as usual. See you later, then. I can't wait for the party this evening. Nor me. It's a big day for all of us, Frankie. Tiffany's got all the decorations and things for tonight. You just have to get Frankie away from the fire station so we can put them up and surprise him. But he knows there's a party. Yes, but he doesn't know he's going to have balloons and streamers and stuff. OK, OK, I'll talk to Tom. Wow, I hope I'm as good as Frankie in 15 years' time. He knows everything about fighting fires. I'm sure you will be. <gasps> oh, a call out! All aboard! Ready to go, Frankie. <laughs> He's just gone out on a call. Shall we do the decorations now? It's a bit early. Anyway, he might come back in the middle. Let's wait till later. OK. Go, Frankie, go! Ooh. What's happening? Oh, no! Something wrong, Frankie? I, I can't go on, Tom. I've broken down. Today of all days. Now everyone's going to say I'm too old for the job. Nonsense. Don't worry. We'll sort it out. Barney to Tom. Are you nearly there? There's a worry that the fire's going to spread. Tom to Barney. We've got a problem. Frankie has broken down. I'm so sorry. We have to get water to that fire. Maybe we could get Elfie there somehow. It's a good idea, but how? We don't have a suitable vehicle. Tom! Hold on, Barney. What is it, Frankie? Maybe Haley could airlift Elfie. Brilliant idea. Barney, I think we have a solution. Bobby to Max. Bobby to Max. Max to Bobby. Receiving you. Max, we have an emergency for Haley. We need you back here. Oh! I'm on my way! This has never happened before. But it's not your fault, Frankie. Oh, maybe not. But the older you get, the more likely you are to break down. People will say I'm past it. Oh, oh, oh. Ready to go, Haley. Ready to go. Got the key? The key. Uh, uh, the key? Oh, no. I've lost the key! Is it in your house? Uh, uh, oh! My house!
take in as much water as you can, Elfie. There's plenty in there. As soon as I've done this, Frankie, I'm going to see if I can find out what's wrong with you. It's old age, Tom. You need a new fire engine, that's what. Don't be so silly. Oh, 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 got it! Oh, is it the right one? Oh, oh, it had better be. It is! Elfie, here we come! I just can't work it out, Frankie. Everything seems fine. Haley's here. Tom, can you ask Elfie to come down the road? We're going to lower a harness for her. Will do, Max. Back in a minute, Frankie. This way, Elfie. They're going to lower a harness. Stand by. Oh, are you sure it's meant for elephants? It's meant for firefighters, Elfie. And you're a firefighter. Good luck, Elfie. Thanks, Frankie. I hope I won't need it. You'll be fine. All ready, Max? Starting to lift. <laughs> Who said elephants can't fly? Tom, I've been thinking. Maybe the contacts on my engine have worn out. OK, I'll take a look. Good thinking, Frankie. You're right. They're worn right down. Well, they're easy to fix. Maybe Tiffany could run some spares out here. OK, I'll ask her. No problem, Tom. I'll pick them up from Barney and be with you shortly. This is it. I've got one chance. It's the first time in 15 years I've not managed to get to a call out. And it has to be today. Exactly. Well, I still think you're the best, Frankie. Anyone can have a bit of bad luck. There we are. All done. Let's go, then. Elfie will need help. She can't carry enough water to put out a big fire. It's under control, but I've run out of water. Let's hope Frankie gets here soon. He's here! This way. You did really well, Elfie. You got it under control. Max, Haley, that was great flying. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I'm needed here now. I'll get back to the fire station with the decorations. OK. See you there. I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble. Frankie, you don't understand. You haven't caused any trouble at all. But I, I broke down. That can happen to anyone. But think about it. You were the one that sorted it all out. It's true, Frankie. And you could do that because you've been in the fire service for so long. It's called experience, Frankie. And you've got it. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Here he is. This is amazing! And so are you, Frankie. Fifteen years in the fire service. 
Congratulations! Congratulations, Frankie! Sharp. It's Max the Super Detective on the wah -wah. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, Timber. I, I'm fine. I'm meant to do it. Ninja training. <laughs> Come on, Scoot. We've got police work to do. <laughs> Just wait till Martin and Mia see this. Oh, hello, Jumpy. Look at my new metal detector. I'm going to be a treasure hunter. The best treasure hunter in the city of Friends. Uh, that's, um, uh, that's nice. And you two can help me. Help you what? Detect metal with my new metal detector. Well, that would be great any other time, Jumpy. But Dad's taking us fishing today. Fishing? Boring! No, we're going right out into Friend Lake. Dad's chartered Bonnie for the day. Would you like to come too? No, it's all right. Mia, Jumpy gets seasick, remember? I do not. It's just... Uh, I'm going treasure hunting. See ya! Hi, Max. Oh, uh, can't stop. Lots of police work to do. Max, look out for the roadworks round the corner. Max, are you all right? Oh, oh, never better. Oh, oh. Um, um, jumpy to friend's hospital. Thanks for calling us, Jumpy. Good work. Now, Max, where does it hurt? Let's talk about fish. Whoa! What is it, Bonnie? It's my propeller. It's got caught in something. I, I, I can't move. Oh, it looks like an old net. It's all tangled up. We're going to drift. I'd better radio for help. <whistles> Bonnie to City of Friends Emergency Services. We're stuck in the middle of Friend Lake and we need help. There's got to be some treasure around here. I'll find it and then I'll be rich. I'll be the richest person in the City of Treasure in the bushes. Hello. What's that? There, in the bushes. Oh, it's probably just a squirrel or something. I've never heard a beeping squirrel before. Jumpy, what are you doing in there? Metal detecting! Oh, looks like I've detected Frankie. I was looking for treasure. All units report back to the station. We have an emergency. And they're drifting further and further away from shore. So how are we going to save them? Haley, Max could fly Haley over to them, drop them a rope, and tow them back to harbour. Good thinking, Tiffany. Max? Max? Oh, where is he? Just a couple of scratches. Max, I think you're needed at the police station. Sounds like there's a bit of an emergency. Well... Come on then, Scoot. Let's get scooting. <laughs> Must do something about that siren of yours, Scoot. So we need you to get Haley out there as quickly as possible, Max. Ha! I'm your man. Max to the rescue. Uh, any 
anyone seen Haley's key? Oh, what? don't what? say what? you've what? lost it again. No. I know I had it earlier. Woof, 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 woof. Timber, we've got an emergency on our hands. We heard the news about Bonnie. Anything we can do to help? Not unless you can find Haley's key. Oh, Max lost it again. Oh. <laughs> woof, 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 Quiet, woof. Timber. Now, where could I? Of course. The road works. It must have jumped out of my pocket there. But it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Not if we've got a metal detector, it isn't. Oh, where are we going to find one of them? Of course, Jumpy. Jumpy's got a metal detector. He might still be at the park. Oh, still nothing. <gasps> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Frankie, it's you again. Haven't I detected you once already? You have that, and now we want you and your detector to find something very important for us. Haley's key. We need Haley for an important rescue. And I think I might have lost her key when I had that little, um, uh, accident at the roadworks. Oh, does this mean I might be a hero? Yep. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? We'd better start thinking of a plan B, Tiffany. If Max doesn't find Haley's key, woof, then we... Woof, woof. Down, Timber! Timber! I think he's trying to tell us something. Woof, 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 woof. Haley's key. But how did it get here? That doesn't matter. We've got it now, and Max can take Haley out over the lake. Clever dog! <laughs> oh. oh, this is hopeless! We're never going to find the key. No, but Timber did. Dad, do you think we're ever going to be saved? Of course we are, Mia. I hope. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have been looking where I was going. No, Bonnie, you couldn't have seen that net. But if ever I find who left it there... We'll have to get back to shore first, Dad. Though how we're going to... Huh? Hang on. What's that sound? I can't hear anything. Just a minute. It's Haley. Hello. Grab hold of this rope. Oh, they've got them. Oh, thank goodness. And if I hadn't been there to help, then they'd have been rescued. They'd have been left there forever. But Jumpy, you didn't find the key. Timber did. Yes, but if I hadn't... Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Well, at least we caught something on our fishing trip. <laughs> okay, Elfie. Last time. Ready? Ready! Go! <laughs> Bullseye! Good shooting, Elfie. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, I'm hungry. I could really do with an apple right now. <laughs> you like apples a lot, don't you? <laughs> like them. I love them. Here you are then. An apple for Elfie, a bun for Ted and a banana for Max. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Go carefully. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Elfie. Oh, hi, everyone. We've brought you an apple. Oh, wow. How did you 
guess. That's just what I want. Oh, sorry, I have to go. We'll bring it back later. I can't see Ted anywhere. I hope he's here. Well, Abby is, so I expect Ted is too. Hi, Abby. Is Ted around? Sure. He's round the back with Tina. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> How's that? Really good. Well done, Ted. You've earned a break. Hi, Ted. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. We've brought you a bun. Hey, great. Thanks. Just in time for my break. He can share it with me. Aww. <laughs> Only joking. We took Elfie an apple, but she was called out just as we got there. She can have it later. She loves apples. Mm. Almost as much as I love buns. Just there, Elfie, where the flames are. Great work, Elfie. Right on target. <laughs> All that practice paid off, didn't it? I think I deserve an apple now. You certainly do. Mm. Mm. Oh, thanks for this, guys. You'll whiz about even faster now, won't you, Max? <laughs> sure will. We should be getting back to the fire station. Yes, Elfie might be back by now. We've got an apple for her. <laughs> Elfie will do anything for an apple. I'm looking forward to my apple more than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness, an orchard full of apples. I've never seen so many. Oh, yum, yum. Here they are. Here's your apple, Elfie. Oh, thanks, Mia. You'll never guess what I've seen. Mm. Did you see it, Tom? See what? That orchard. Trees all full of ripe, juicy apples. Oh, I so want to go back and pick some. Well, I think that can be arranged. Really? Yes, you've worked really hard today. Frankie and I will take you back there. You can remember where it was, can't you? Oh, yes, definitely. We'll go to the park for a bit. Then you'll come back and see my lovely apples. Yes, of course we will. Come on, then. Off we go. No, no, it wasn't here. Oh, dear, where was it? Are we in the right place? I don't know, Tom. I thought we were, but now I'm not sure. Try going up in the bucket. You'll be able to see further. OK. Any luck? No, I can't see the apple orchard anywhere. I'm sorry, Elfie, but I think we'll have to give it up now. I know. Thanks for trying, though, Tom. I'm Frankie. Look, here's Elfie. Did you find the orchard? No, I thought I knew where it was, but I was wrong. Oh, Elfie. Elfie couldn't find the orchard. Oh, what are you going to do? Dunno. Nothing much I can do. I think I'd better have a bath. Thanks for minding. Poor Elfie. Oh, I've never seen her look so sad. There must be some way we can help her. <gasps> I know, there is! What? We'll find the orchard for her. We'll organise a search party. Ooh. I'm looking forward to my apple, more than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. But I can't find the orchard, so my apples have gone away. Hi, Elfie. Everyone's waiting. Waiting? What for? Come and see. Oh, my goodness. What's happening? We're going to find that apple orchard for you, Elfie. Working together, you see. We're all so good at working together. I bet we can find your orchard just like that. Thank you. Let's hope so, anyway. Now, here's the plan. We'll each search a different part of the countryside near where that haystack caught fire. Oh, I 
found it. <gasps> oh, is that it? Brilliant, Jumpy, you found it. Well done. Yay! I found it! Tiffany here, everyone. We found the orchard. Or rather, Jumpy's found it. I'm going to find the owner now and ask if we can have some apples. He says yes. It's okay to take as many as we like. Hi, Elfie. Where are you off to? I'm going back to the orchard. What? You can't have eaten all your apples already. I have. I'm off to get some more. Oh, no! Max, stop! Could you get a message to Frankie for me? Ask him to pick me up here. No problem. Will do. What is it, Martin? What are you looking at? It's Alfie. She's going to be late for the call-out. Oh, she'll be really upset if she misses a call-out, won't she? Yes. Being a firefighter is so important to her. If only she didn't care about the apples so much. I've got a suggestion. We've got to find a way of getting so many apples for Elfie that she doesn't need to go back to the orchard for ages and ages. You mean a grand apple picking? A grand apple picking with a picnic. And I'll make the picnic. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mum. Thanks. Yum, yum. I'm looking forward to my apple. More than I can say. All the way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. <laughs> I think those will last you quite a time, Elfie. Yes. Oh, thank you, everyone. This is my best day ever. Now I can stop worrying about apples and get on with being a firefighter. Elfie? Elfie? Sorry, can't stop. I'm late for work. Well, perhaps you'd like to take some of our buns with you. Oh. Oh, who left that door open? We made a few too many buns yesterday, so if you'd like them... Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, customers already? Oh. oh, who closed the door? Oh, sorry, love, I did. Oh, dear. Does it hurt? Let's just hope his nose isn't broken. Hello, sounds like Abby. Hi, Abby, where are you? What's the... I mean, whoa! Getting a little dizzy here. Woo! Whew! Better get on with my rounds. Hello. Looks like trouble. Uh, Tiffany, Max? Something the matter, G? Super Detective Max at the ready. What's the word, G? Looks like a burst water main over near the City Hall. Well... That's for the fire service to deal with. Yes, but Frankie's already out on a job. Perhaps you'd better get down there to see what you can do. I suppose. Though it's not going to do anything for my promotion. OK, team. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, all systems, go, go! <laughs> Stop. Come on, let's play in it! No, Jumpy! 
No? Why not? Well, for a start, you're probably not supposed to. And you'll get wet. And you'll have to go home in sopping wet clothes. And you'll get cold. And your mum won't be pleased. Yes. But apart from that, why not? Because I say so. Now stand back, please, and let us deal with it. Come on, stand back. Nothing to see here. Oh, I can't see anything from here. Never mind, Jumpy. I'll tell you all about it when we've sorted it out. But I... I know. Huh. Where's he gone? Search me. Still, I think we'll be on our way too. Perhaps we should go and see if Dad's come back from hospital. Hospital? He bumped his nose. Oh, should be able to get a better look up this tree. <laughs> Race you home, Martin. Last one, there's a... Well, whatever the last one is, you're going to be it. Martin? Looks like someone must have dropped these. Most of them are for Bobby. Well, perhaps we'd better take them to him. Yeah, we can check on Dad later. And I reckon it's the work of a pickpocket. Well, a pick poucher, really. No, I don't... They were right here when I left and there were a lot of letters for you, Bobby. Oh, were they? <laughs> don't know what they were for, of course. Well, it, it could have been... It's not your birthday, is it? No. Probably all to do with police matters. Well, if it is... Uh... And speaking of police matters... Well, if you just... I want something done about yeah, it. Uh, Kimmy? We can't have people walking... Kimmy? Hi, Bobby. Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hello, you two. Martin, Mia, you won't believe what's happened. Someone has stolen some letters right out of my pouch. Can you believe it? If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have believed it. I mean, it's a disgrace. Well, it's more than a disgrace. It's a... a, 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 dis a di the letters! Where did you find them? On the pavement. Back there. Maybe they fell out of your pouch? Well, uh, I can't think how. I mean, I, mean, I, I wouldn't. Emergency! Emergency! What's up, G? It looks like someone's stuck up a tree in Friend Park. This sounds like a job for the fire service. Oh, morning, Elfie. Hi, Raph. Fancy a bun? No time for buns, I'm afraid, Elfie. You're needed over at Friend Park. Someone's got stuck up a tree. Oh, I bet I know who that is. <laughs> Bye-bye, Buns. See you later. <laughs> there. That seems to have done the trick. How did you know where the stop tap was, Max? I just used my head, Tiffany. It's my police training. Equips me for any emergency. Help! I want to get found! Jumpy! I'm stuck! Help me! Does your police training equip you for this emergency, Max? Oh, uh, yes, and no, and mainly no. <laughs> no peace for the wicked, eh? Frankie and the team will sort it out. Hang on there, Jumpy. Frankie's on his way. That's it, Jumpy. Steady as you go. Easy, Elfie. Take it easy. Thank you, Elfie. Thank you. Oh, uh, Jumpy, you're nipping me. Oh, sorry. And I was really, really brave. So, how did you get stuck up in the tree in the first place, Jumpy? Well, I, I wasn't stuck. I, I was just resting. Dad, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Just a bit of bruising. Well, I don't know. What with your nose and jumpy up a tree and that burst water main? And Kimmy's lost letters. <laughs> the emergency services have been working really hard for us all today. Just like they always do. I think we ought to have a little party for them to say thank you for everything they do for us. Oh, yeah. Brilliant idea, Mum. It'll be the best party ever. A party? At the cafe. 
this afternoon. And so we'd all like to say a big thank you to Bobby and his team, to Barney and the fire service, and to Tina, Ted and... Hang on! Where's G? And Ruff? Oh, no. oh, I think I saw them heading toward Friend Park. It would have been nice to go to the party, wouldn't it, Raff? It would. Still, we can't help having such long necks. Mm. We'd never have fitted in the cafe. No. So we'll just have to have our own little party here. On our own. Just the two of us. Yes. There they are! Hello? Gee, Raph, why didn't you come to the party? Well, like G said, we wouldn't fit into the cafe. Rather long in the neck department. Well, it wouldn't be a proper thank you party without you two. So we'll have it right here in the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Why can't we have a pet? <laughs> you already have lots of pets. Timber the police dog, Jumpy the hare and Kimmy the kangaroo. They're all friends, not all pets. Please, can we have a pet of our own? A dog, a cat, a rabbit. We've got enough to do running the City of Friends Cafe. We haven't got time to look after an animal. You wouldn't have to do anything, Mum. We'd look after it. Can we talk about this another time? We've got to open the cafe in five minutes. Why don't you pop over to the police station and play with Timber? I suppose so. Timber's the nearest to a pet that we'll ever get. Timber! Nobody's here. Hmm. Maybe Tiffany's round the back with Timber. Let's take a look. Bobby! Tiffany! They've gone out on a job with Petey. I'm off too. I'm going to help Barney tidy up the fire station garden. Catch you later! <sighs> what shall we do now? What's that? It's coming from over there. <gasps> Mice! A whole family of them. Oh, they're so cute. Do you think Max knows he's got a family of mice under his treehouse? <laughs> it's not like Max to keep a secret. Do you think they're safe here? Max is very noisy and he's always tooting Scoot's hooter. The mice might be a little bit scared. Maybe we should move them to a quieter place. Yeah. Okay, Barney, what do you want me to do? Well, you could help me clear the leaves off the path, Max. No problem, Barney. <laughs> hey, Max, I've only just swept those leaves up. Oops. Oh, sorry, Barney. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Take it easy, Max. We've got all day to tidy up. Martin, where are we going? We're trying to find a nice, safe, quiet place for the mice. Maybe we should never have moved them in the first place. What are you going to do with all this rubbish, Barney? It certainly won't fit in the dustbin. I'll probably have to take it to the recycling centre. It's a long way to push a wheelbarrow, Barney. <laughs> the fire 
fire station's a great place for the mice to live, Mia. They can't live here. They'll be frightened of Frankie's loud fire engine siren. They won't hear Frankie at the back. It's nice and quiet here. See? They like it already. Nobody will see the nest if we cover it over with leaves. The leaves will keep the mice nice and warm. They're going to need some food, Martin. We should go home and get them something to eat. Don't tell Mum and Dad about the mice meal. It's our secret. You've done a good job tidying up the yard, Barney. I had Max helping me. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without him. Look at all the rubbish we collected. <laughs> Barney's going to take it to the recycling centre in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> you could load the rubbish into Elfie's bucket and drive over to the recycling centre in Frankie. Is that OK with you, Elfie? I'm going for a cooling dip in my pool. I won't be needing the bucket for a while. You're the best set of helpers in the City of Friends. Yeah, That's the lot. Hold on, Barney. There's a bit more rubbish over here. <laughs> Take her away, Frankie. I bet the mice are starving by now. We've got enough food in our rucksacks to last them a week. <laughs> Everybody's gone to the recycling centre with Frankie. Don't you think we did a great job of tidying up the fire station garden? Max, what exactly did you tidy up? Oh, you know, leaves, rubbish and stuff. <gasps> the nest! It's gone! Uh, what are you looking for? We left the nest of mice right there! It was covered with leaves. If it was hidden under a pile of leaves, it'll be halfway to the recycling centre by now. <gasps> We've got to stop Frankie. But we'll never catch up with the fire truck, Mia. Petey! Stop, Petey! Stop! Stop! Has something happened? We've done something really silly, Tiffany. We need a lift urgently to sort it out. <laughs> okay, just this once. Jump in. <laughs> I'll race you. Timber. No problem. Good luck. Oh, you beat me. Stop! Stop! Huh? You two had better have a good explanation for this. There's something very precious in Elfie's bucket. It's a family of mice. We need to take them home. Oh. <clears throat> Let's hope the nest's still in one piece. Oh, thank goodness they're safe. How on earth did they get here? We found them under Max's treehouse this morning. We moved them to the fire station. Why did you move them from the police station to the fire station? We thought the police station was too noisy. Oh, right. And the fire station's a lot quieter. We were worried that Max might frighten the mice by tooting Scoot's hooter. Don't blame me. I didn't even know they were there. You should never move wild animals away from their home territory. We know that now, Barney. It was a stupid thing to do. We should have left them where they belong. Why don't we take them home right away? 
Scoot can give them a lift back, Barney. Uh, no thanks, Max. The mice have had quite enough excitement for one day. We'll give them a lift back home in Frankie. <laughs> Sounds like they're happy to be home. Is it OK to feed the mice, Barney? Of course, Martin. But don't touch them. Just leave the food and go. I promise we won't disturb them ever again. <laughs> I'll try to be quiet and not toot Scoot's hoot around here. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Just because you've got four wheels and a louder siren doesn't mean you can go faster than me and Scoot. <laughs> well, I have done so far, Max. Scoot's got new wheels now and his acceleration is stupendous. I reckon we can outpace you, Petey. Impossible, Max. My engine's ten times more powerful than... Oh, what's that awful racket? Oh. <laughs> we could have that race right now, Petey just to get away from these two. Oh, how long have they been playing? Oh, too long. Tell them to stop, Tiffany. They're giving me a headache. What do you think of the City of Friends band, Tiffany? Uh, well, yes. I was just wondering if you could play somewhere else, Bobby. Oh, were we that bad? No, no. It's just that uh, we need to test out the alarm bell. It was a bit dodgy this morning. I could hardly hear it when you went on the last emergency call out. If we test the alarm, it might, um... Put you out of tune? Tiffany's right. We'd be better off practising somewhere quieter. OK, Bobby. Let's try the fire station. Timber! You can come out now. The City of Friends band has moved on. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Don't forget what I said, Petey. Scoot and I can beat you any day. Yeah, yeah. Dream on, Max. Right, Bobby. Let's take it from the top. Ooh. <laughs> oh! <no. laughs> ah. oh. Sorry, but it was an accident. Your uh, music made me jump. It gave me a fright too. We're in danger of getting drenched here, Bobby. <laughs> Let's find somewhere else, Barney. The emergency services are not the only speedy vehicles around here. Let's give it full throttle, Scoot! Nobody will disturb us here, Bobby. Come on! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> oh, it's not fair. Jumpy is much faster than us. Let's run the other way and see if Jumpy can find us. <laughs> <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> so, Mia and Martin are playing tricks on me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I thought you were Martin and Mia playing tricks on me. Are they here in the forest? We came here to play hide and seek. Well, where are they? I don't know. I've lost them. Not a good idea to get lost in the forest. They can't be that far away. I hope not. We've been here for ages, Martin. Do you think Jumpy's forgotten all about us? 
Maybe we'd better go and find him. It's not that way, Martin. Which way is it, Mia? I've no idea. I'm really worried, Tiffany. Mia and Martin promised they'd be back in time for supper, but they've not showed up yet. Don't worry. I'll put a call through to the other emergency services and ask them to look out for the children. OK, Tiffany. We'll keep our eyes peeled. It's not like the twins to be late home. I'm worried about the children, Petey. I wish Bobby was here. He'd know what to do. Let's take a little ride, Tiffany. With a bit of luck, we'll spot Mia and Martin. Then we can give them a lift back home. Good thinking, Petey. <whistles> Come on, Timber! Ruff, ruff. Martin! 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 Mia! They mustn't be able to hear us. They'll certainly hear this. <gasps> <laughs> it's Jumpy playing more tricks on us. Well, at least we know he's nearby. Come on, Scoot! Overtake Petey! <laughs> That's got to be Bobby and Barney. Find! Martin and Mia, Timber! Find! <laughs> hey, Timber! Wait for me! <sighs> you beat me, Petey! Only just, Max. Only just. Be quick, Martin. We're getting closer. Give me a hoot if you see the children, Scoot. Timber, lead on. Timber! Timber! <laughs> wow. Yeah! Found you! Max! <laughs> I was trying to find Bobby so that he could help me find you. But Timber and Max beat me to it. <laughs> Where have you two been hiding? Oh, sorry, Jumpy. We got lost. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> we were lucky, Martin. We had three search parties looking for us. But you can't beat me, Jumpy! Tiffany told me that you and Scoot went like greased lightning through the forest pathways, Max. You should have seen us ducking and diving down those paths, Petey. We were awesome! <laughs> and Barney. The City of Friends has got a band we can all be proud of. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Mia, I can hear a scratchy noise. <laughs> it sounds like dancing mice. 
we can hear secret things that nobody else can hear, Martin. We're the City of Friends spies. Come on, Mia. Let's play spies outside. Don't move, Abby. I need to clean the mud off your wheels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that tickles Ted. You'll soon be shining bright like a brand new ambulance. Then we'll get an emergency call out and you'll drive me through a puddle and I'll be dirty all over again. Great so, Abby. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? <laughs> oh, what's in here? A trumpet? <laughs> Skipping ropes! Whee! Earplugs! Wow, that tweeting is really loud when you hear it through the trumpet. My turn now, Martin. Boing, boing, boing. That has to be jumpy. <laughs> Jumpy, what's the matter? Stop! <sighs> I can't stop. Somebody's chasing me. There's nobody chasing you, Jumpy. Oh, he's scared of something. We'd better keep an eye on him. Jumpy! Wait! Hold on, Jumpy! Ah! What's that? It's a giant! With big feet! Ah, I can hear him breathing! He's getting closer! Oh! There's no way we'll ever catch up with Jumpy! He's going like the wind! Petey! Stop! We've got a problem, Tiffany. Lucky for you, I'm not on an emergency call. Otherwise, I couldn't have stopped. Hop in and belt up. Ooh. Oh! Thanks, Tina. I feel great. City of Friends Ambulance Service. On you. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we're on it. Didn't I tell you we'd get an emergency call just as soon as I was clean? Sorry, Abby. Elfie's had an accident in the park. Oh, poor Elfie. I don't seem to have my stethoscope. Don't worry, Ted. You can use mine. We're trying to catch up with Jumpy. He's been jumping around all over town like a crazy thing. <laughs> so what's unusual about that? He looks scared. He says somebody's chasing after him. He's probably playing a game, Mia. I can't imagine Jumpy being scared of anything. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Did you know you've got a hole in your stethoscope? Oh, I'd no idea. Maybe I damaged it on the last job. I'm not happy about examining Elfie without the right medical instruments. Do you want me to go back to the hospital to get another stethoscope? No, we'd better not waste precious time. I just don't understand where I could have left it. Petey, give us a call if you spot Jumpy. Will do, Tiffany. Timber. We're looking for Jumpy, not chasing after rabbits. Oh, oh, ow! My trunk really hurts, Tom. Don't worry, Elfie. 
Abby's on her way with Ted and Tina. It was silly of me to go in the pond and squirt so much water around. Oh, Tiffany! How did you know we were here? We didn't. We were searching for Jumpy. Didn't I tell you the ambulance would be here soon, Elfie? Hey there, how's it going? She seems to have hurt her trunk. Don't you worry, we'll soon fix that, Elfie. We'll have you on your feet and fighting fires in no time. Oh, I hope so, Tina. Ooh, try not to move. <laughs> I don't want to stick the plaster in the wrong place whilst Tina's watching. You're doing just fine. Put your ear to our listening trumpet. You'll be surprised at what you hear. It makes everything sound really loud. Oh, I can hear birds singing. They sound like they're sitting next to me. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and now Timber's barking his head off. There you go, Elfie. Expect you feel better already. Oh, thank you, Ted. I can hear a really funny boing boing noise in your listening trumpet, Martin. Jumpy, there aren't any giants in the City of Friends. Hey, Jumpy, where did you find my stethoscope? Wh what, Ted? I said, where did you find my stethoscope? Oh, uh, <clears throat> it, it was in your bag, in Abbey. You took it without asking my permission? I'm sorry, Ted. It's really important that I have my stethoscope when I'm working. You must never do that again, Jumpy. Thanks for helping us. Take care of that trunk, Elfie. I'll not blow so hard next time. Oh, that's funny. I can't hear the giant anymore. <laughs> there never was a giant, Jumpy. You were running around town with Ted's stethoscope stuck in your ears. Stethoscopes make noises sound louder. Like this. <laughs> ah! The giant's back! It's just the noises in the park. The ducks quacking. And the birds in the trees. Oh, so there never was a giant. <laughs> I am a silly Billy. Bye. I promise I won't touch your stethoscope again, Ted. Glad to hear it, Jumpy. I should be on my way too. Come on, Timber. Woof, woof. Thanks for all your help, Tiffany. No problem. Bye, Timber. Bye, Timber. Woof, 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 woof. Shall we play spies? Let's play jumping giants instead. Aren't you fed up with that game, Jumpy? <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Oh, yes. I can remember when heavy horses used to pull the fire truck all around the city of friends. Horses? Were they fast enough in an emergency, Frankie? You've forgotten something, Martin. The city of friends didn't have motor cars in the olden days. No motor cars? How did people get about? But they either walked or used horsepower, Mia. I tell you, when the fire bell went, a strong team of horses could nearly outrun me. Come in, Tiffany. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobby. I was so enthralled by Frankie's stories, I lost track of time. Just checking your location, Tiffany. In the town square. We'll make a move now. Bye, Bobby. We'd better get a move on too, Frankie. Oh, I was really enjoying Frankie's stories about the olden days. <laughs> Another time, Abby. Bye! We'd better go and see what Ted's up to, Abby. See you later. Bye! Bye.
Hey, did either of you see Tom in town? Uh, no, Raph, I haven't seen him all morning. He left this morning saying he'd be back soon. <laughs> and that was a couple of hours ago. He sneaked out whilst Elfie was taking a nap in her shed. He's gone to buy her some apples. It's a surprise. Oh, your secret's safe with us, Raph. Right. Seeing as it's nice and quiet, I'm going inside to tidy my office. Oh. oh. <laughs> Help! I'm locked inside the station. Oh, I haven't got a key. Have you, Raph? Afraid not, Frankie. We haven't got a key, Barney. What shall we do? Get Raph to radio Elfie. She might have a spare key in her shed. Come in, Elfie. Are you receiving me? Come in, Elfie. We have an emergency situation. What? What's going on? Oh, hearing you loud and clear, Raph. What's the problem? Barney's locked himself inside the fire station. Do you have a spare key? Oh, no. Hold on. I'll be with you right away. Help! Stand back, Barney. I'm going to try forcing the door open. Oh, Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, now what? Elfie, I've got an idea. Radio the police station. Bob is sure to have a spare set of keys. <laughs> Don't worry, Elfie. I've got spare keys for every house in the City of Friends. Wonderful. I'll drive over with them right away, Elfie. Thanks, Tiffany. See you soon. Come on, Timber. Hop in. Woof, 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 woof. Here's the key to the fire station, Tiffany. <laughs> Don't lose it. Bobby, I've just received a report of an emergency situation in the City of Friends. The police crew are required immediately. Uh-oh. What about Barney? An emergency call-out has to be our priority, Tiffany. Right, Bobby. I'd better let Alfie know we're not coming. But if you don't come, Barney will be locked up in the fire station all day. I'm sorry, Elfie. There really is no alternative. Well, you could always send Timber with the key, Tiffany. Oh! That's not a bad idea, Frankie. I'll tie the key to her collar and send her over right away. Is it a good idea to trust a dog with a set of keys, Frankie? <laughs> if horses could pull fire trucks in the old days, there's no reason why Timber can't safely carry a set of keys. Just so long as he doesn't get distracted by a rabbit. I want you to take this key to Alfie at the fire station. Go, Timber! Go! <laughs> I can't wait to see Elfie's face when she sees these apples. Hey, Timber! What's the rush? <laughs> hmm. Somebody's dropped a key. <gasps> it's the fire station key. How did it get here? Oh. Timber's here! Woof, woof, woof. Woof. Good boy, Timber. Now, where's that key? Oh. Uh, found it, Elfie. No, Frankie. But, but Tiffany said she'd fix it to Timber's collar. Well, it's not there now, Frankie. Oh, you'd better get on the radio and make an urgent call to Tiffany. Hello, Elfie here. Are you receiving me? Receiving you loud and clear, Elfie. Has Timber arrived with the key yet? Timber's arrived, but without the key. Oh, 
Oh, Max, stop. What's the matter, Tom? Can you take this key to the fire station? It's an emergency, Max, so be as quick as you can. Don't worry, Tom. Me and Scoot are the fastest thing on two wheels in the City of Friends. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be twenty-five green bottles hanging on... Tom sent these for you, Elfie. Oh, apples! Mm, my favourite! Would anybody like one? Oh, yes, please! Come on, Raph. You mustn't miss out on my treat. Oh, thank you, Elfie. Did you get the key, Elfie? Key? What key? The key in the basket. I found it on the pavement in town. <laughs> hmm? Max? <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I was so excited about the apples, I forgot all about the key. Here it is. <laughs> Key that Timber dropped, Tom. Hey, everybody! Remember me? Oh, coming, Barney. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to be stuck in the station all night. <laughs> I see you found the key, Barney. <laughs> I didn't have much to do with it, Bobby. It was these guys that did all the work. Timber started off with the key but dropped it. I found it and gave it to Max. Then Scoot and I whizzed over here. And I unlocked the fire station door. And, ta-da! And here I am. A brilliant example of team effort. City of Friends team effort. <laughs> you can't beat it. Yes! Yes! Race you to the bike track! Yeah, yeah! What's your best thing, Martin? Mine's wheelies, I think. I am the best wheelie ever in the City of Friends. I like the jump best. The one at the bottom of the hill. Oh, yeah, the jump. You're quite good at that. Yes! Yes! Children should be here by now. They said they'd be back for tea. It's all ready. Yes. I hope they're all right. Oh, hi, Max. Good to see you. Hi there. Are Martin and Mia around? I've got the afternoon off. I thought I'd do something with them. Oh, they're with Jumpy. They've all gone to the bike track in the forest. Oh, great. Only they're supposed to be back by now. We're a bit worried, actually. Hey, I'll go and look for them. Oh, Max, are you sure? Of course, no problem. Thanks. Won't be long. OK, so the last one to cross the line without falling off is the winner. <laughs> Ready? Go! Whoa. Oh, I'm out! Oh. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, I won. <laughs> Let's do it again.
was brilliant. Have you come to play too? <laughs> no, I've come to look for you. Your mum and dad are worried. But, oh no, it's not tea time already, is it? Uh-huh. We had no idea. Come on, we better hurry. It's all right. No need to rush. Max to Tiffany. Max to Tiffany. Hi, Max. Receiving you. Could you pop round to the cafe, please, Tiffany? Tell them I found the children. Everyone's fine. And we'll be back soon. I thought you were supposed to be off duty, Max. I am. Just doing a favour, that's all. OK, I'll be there in a moment. Thanks, Tiffany. Now, before we go, Scoot and I are going to have a quick go on this track of yours. Oh, I don't think it's right for Scoot, Max. It's really bumpy. I'll just give it a try. If it's too difficult, I'll leave it. He's like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> go, Max! <laughs> OK. Now let's try out some jumps. Here goes. Whoa! Yes! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Just time for one more. Whoa! Hey! Oh yes! Fantastic, Max! Try that one! The biggest one! We should be going now. Max! Last one! Promise! Hmm. We'd better let him. Thanks for letting us know, Tiffany. Are you sure you can't stay for tea? Afraid not. I'm on duty. Max said they wouldn't be long. Thanks again. There's no sign of it, Max. We've looked everywhere. It's disappeared. Oh, no. I can't ride Scoot. I can't walk. And now I've lost my radio. I think that makes me a fairly useless police monkey. But you do have us. But I'm supposed to be looking after you, not the other way round. That doesn't matter, Max. The main thing is to get help. Yes, you're right. OK, how about this? Mia stays here with me. Because you should never leave a casualty on their own. Exactly. Martin, you go to the cafe and explain what's happened. Jumpy, you cycle to the hospital and get help. On my way, Max. And apologise for me, Martin, will you? OK. And go carefully, both of you. We don't want any more accidents. Poor old Scoot. I don't think anything's broken, Max. Yes. Sorry, Scoot. It's not your fault you're not a bicycle. <laughs> or that you're such a bad driver. Uh, uh, oh, uh, that's true, too. Uh, oh, oh. Max? Yes? I think it's obvious you can't walk on it, don't you? Oh, sorry. That's better. Have a drink. You know the main track into the forest? Yep. It's just off that. Okay, 
Hold tight. <laughs> Yay! Ouch! Oh, have I broken anything? No, you've sprained your ankle. So, what do we do, Ted? We strap it up. Don't worry, Max. Ted's a really good strapper-upper. You probably expected one of us to have hurt ourselves doing a silly stunt, Ted. Not one of the emergency services. Not really, to be honest. After all, it is Max we're talking about here. Ah, there. We're done. Well, that's really good. Thanks, Ted. Why don't we all go to the cafe? There's a tea waiting. With sticky buns. And everything. Uh, wait a moment. Ted, could you call me up on your radio? Really? Uh-huh. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. <sighs> Got it. Come on, everyone. Tea time. I suppose it's not the last time we'll be called out to help Max. <laughs> yeah, with a monkey in a police uniform, you never know what will happen next. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Frankie. Hi, PT. Fancy something to eat, Tiffany? Certainly do, Tom. Just got to get Timber out. <laughs> Looks like Timber's hungry too. Sandwiches, drink, camera. Hi, Timber. Hi, Timber. Hey, are you guys going on holiday? We're going to track wild animals' footprints in the City of Friends forest, Tom. Whoa, I didn't know there were elephants and tigers in the City of Friends forest. <laughs> Not those kind of animals, Tom. We're going to take photographs of rabbits and deer and birds and put them in our school nature books. You can take a photograph of me for your school book. <laughs> Come with us, Tom. It'll be fun. Sorry, Barney and I have to clean up the fire station today. That's not what real firemen do. Real firemen do all sorts of jobs, Martin, including sweeping the floor and washing dishes. Are you busy, Tiffany? Afraid so. I've got to finish some police reports for Bobby. <laughs> I know you think police reports are boring, Timber, but they are an important part of my job. <coughs> Poor Timber. Why don't you take him with you? Really? Really? <laughs> I'm sure he'd rather be in the City of Friends forest than stuck indoors with me. <laughs> hey, Mia, look at these. It's an animal with webbed feet. The tracks must belong to a duck. Come on, Timber. Let's find some ducks. <laughs> There are hundreds of duck footprints. <laughs> Shush, Timber. stuck in his paw. Can you get it out? I can try. <coughs> Sorry, Timber. I was only trying to help. Let's take him to the City of Friends Hospital. Tina and Ted will know what to do. 
Timber can't walk. The thorn will go in deeper if he puts weight on his paw. We could carry him to the hospital. Mm, he's far too heavy. We've got to do something, Martin. We could leave Timber here whilst we go for help. We can't leave him. He'll just follow us. Maybe we could tie him up to one of the trees. First we must cover up his sore paw so that he doesn't get any more dirt in it. Oh. Sorry, Timber. Oh. I'm being as gentle as I can. You'll be comfortable here, Timber. We'll be back as soon as we can, Timber. Promise. Stay, Timber. Stay. <laughs> I'll go and find Abby and the ambulance crew. And I'll go and tell Tiffany the bad news. <sighs> oh, calm down, Mia. You'll do yourself an injury. <sighs> Abby, we need your help. Timber's hurt. He's in the forest. <laughs> Tiffany! Timber's hurt. Oh, where is he? In the forest. We had to leave him there. He can't walk. Are you sure, Martin? There are lots of places that look the same in the forest. I think it was here. Look! Timber's footprints! OK, we'd better split up into two search parties. Ted, Mia and I will go this way. Martin and Tiffany, follow me. The footprints stop here. There are more over here, Tina. Timber must have gone this way. There are fresh footprints here. Could this be Timber's hair? It's definitely Timber's. He must have snagged himself on the bushes as he went along the footpath. Well, at least we know we're on the right path. This way! Oh, we thought we'd lost you, Timber. Hi, Timber. What do you suggest, Tina? Do you want to try getting the thorn out with tweezers, Ted? Mm. Hold still, boy. Ah, it's out. Well done, Timber. <laughs> Calm down, Timber. There's more to do. I've got to clean your sore paw and bandage your leg. Let's take a picture of Timber looking like a wounded soldier. Smile, Timber. You're a very brave boy. You deserve a smiley face. And you two deserve a smiley face for tracking Timber down. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ted. No jumping about, Timber. You can't put weight on that sore foot for a while. <laughs> Here's your chance to see how a portable stretcher works. You're going to be carried out of the City of Friends Forest in style. Look, Petey's waiting to take you home. Hey, Timber, take it easy. I'll have you back at the police station before you know it. <sighs> there you go. You're going to have to keep an eye on him, Tiffany. You'll need to have the wound cleaned twice a day, and he must rest. <laughs> I don't think Timber's going to be an easy patient, Tina. Probably not, but it's the only way he'll get better. Thank you for all your help. Our pleasure, Tiffany. See you later. See you later. You know, we set off to take photographs of local wildlife, but we've only got pictures of the ducks. 
and Timber with his leg in a bandage. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to do it all over again. Can you do me a favour? Of course. Sure. Don't take Timber next time. <laughs> Tiffany's right. Let him get over this adventure before you take him on another. <laughs> <laughs> Want a lift home? Yes, please. Pop in. <laughs> Now, Martin and Mia, are you sure you've got everything? <laughs> yes, Mum. Drinks? Yes. Plenty of food? You know we have. Oh, mine's in my new lunchbox. Well, that's very smart, Jumpy. All right, then. Have a good time, all of you. And don't forget to tell G where you're going. We won't. Bye, Mum. <laughs> Bye. So, I've decided I'm not going to lose your key ever again, Hayley. <laughs> really? How can you be so sure, Max? Simple. I'm going to put it on a special hook outside my front door. That way, I'll know where it is, won't I, Timber? <coughs> oh, come on. It's a great idea. It's bound to work. Hello, G. Hello, you lot. I spy rucksacks. Are you off on an expedition? Yes, to Friend Mountain. Oh, it's a lovely day for it. Yes, and I've got a new lunchbox, G. Look! Oh, I say, that's really shiny, Jumpy. Hey, careful. The sun on that tin makes a really bright reflection. Oh, sorry, G. No problem. Have fun, then. I'll be looking out for you. Thanks, G. Bye. Bye. Watch me! Watch me! See how far I can jump! Is it time for lunch yet? Jumpy, that's the third time you've asked. You've got food on the brain today. Not really. It's your new lunchbox. You can't wait to open it, can you? Maybe. <laughs> hey, look. We can see G from here. Hi, G! She's seen us. Oh, it's really, really hot now. Let's stop for a bit. For a bit of lunch, maybe? Oh, all right, Jumpy. You win. Come on, let's find some shade. We must make sure we take all our litter with us. Hey, this isn't ours. Oh, you're right. But it hasn't been here long by the look of it. There must be some other people out here today. Yes, people who don't care about keeping the countryside tidy. Can you see anyone, Jumpy? Nope, but oh, I can see smoke. Smoke? Yeah, look, over there. Maybe it's those other picnickers. They must have lit a campfire and left it burning. Can we put it out? No way! It's spreading too fast! It's a job for the fire service. We must go back and tell Rat. Martin! Ow! Sorry, there's no way I can go on. You two go ahead and warn Raph about the fire. You must never leave someone alone when they've hurt themselves. I'll stay with you. Jumpy, can you go on and raise the alarm? Of course I can. Watch me go. <laughs> Be careful, though. I will. <sighs> oh, great. There's G. 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 Oh, she can't see me. And I know she can't hear me. What can I do? Oh, I know. G said the sun on this tin makes a really bright reflection. Maybe she'll see this. <laughs> now, what can that be? Oh, I think it's Jumpy with that lunchbox of his. It's like a signal. Maybe something's wrong. Bobby, someone 
it's signaling from Friend Mountain, and I think one of the children may be in trouble. Thanks, G. Sounds like a job for Max and Haley. Get them to take a look, will you? Will do. There. One new hook. Now all I have to do is put Haley's key on it and... Um, oh, where is it? Where's the key? G to Max. G to Max. Receiving you, G. Go ahead. Possible emergency on Friend Mountain, Max. Bobby wants you and Haley to take a look. Oh, on my way. I don't believe this. Where's the key? I put it here. Surely I put it here. Didn't I? Max, where are you? Coming, G. One moment. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, oh, where is it? <laughs> Timber, where did you find it? <laughs> oh, thanks, Timber. I must have dropped it again. Right, off I go. Oh, the fire's getting bigger and closer. Hurry up, Jumpy. Receiving you, Max. Barney, there's a major fire on Friend Mountain, north side. Looks like it's spreading fast. OK, got that, Max. I need you to get back here to the fire station as quickly as you can. Got there, Barney. We're heading back. I get it. Jumpy wants us to look over there. Receiving you, Max. Casualty on Friend Mountain. Martin's hurt his ankle. He can't walk, but Mia's with him. Thanks, Max. We're on our way. Keep going, Elfie. It's a big fire. Haley will need a full tank. How are we doing, Tom? Nearly there. Bit more, Elfie. More. OK, hold it. We're done. How does that feel? Loads better, thanks, Tina. Oh, look! Here comes Haley. That's some fire! Right, Max. You need to hover just here, then we'll drop the water. OK. Left. Left. Hold it. Stand by. Release! and Hayley. Is it out? Yep. We've done it. Yeah! Your ankle will be better soon. It's only a sprain. Well done, everyone. Good work. Especially Jumpy for raising the alarm. And Mia for doing the right thing and not leaving Martin on his own when he was hurt. It's a good thing I had this new lunchbox. Know what? That's the perfect place for me to keep Haley's key. What? <laughs> Only joking. But I'm going to have to think very hard about where to keep it in future, aren't I, Timber? <laughs> go to the fete, Mum? Not until we've made the food for it. We got a big order in this morning, a batch of chocolate muffins and as many toffee apples as we can make. Oh, oh no. The fete's the only day in the whole year that we get a chance to ride in the emergency service vehicles. Petey the police car, Frankie the fire engine and Abby the ambulance. 
Please, Mom. Okay, okay. As soon as you've made the toffee apples, you can go and join your friends at the fete. <laughs> Deal. More water, Elfie. We'll soon have you bright and shiny, Frankie. <laughs> I've got soap in my eyes. Close your eyes, Frankie. Okay, you're done. I wonder if Petey and Abby will be as clean and shiny as me. No chance. We'll outshine all the emergency services in the City of Friends today. Thanks for looking after Timber this morning. Bobby and I would never have got Petey clean with Timber under our feet. <laughs> there you go, cheeky boy. <laughs> 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 he wants some more, Tiffany. That's enough, Timber. Oh. I know you love chocolate muffins more than anything else in the world, but chocolate is bad for dogs. Come on, boy. Let's go and find Petey and Bobby. <laughs> See you later. See you at the fete. <laughs> Looking good, Tina. Makes me blink just looking at Abby's shiny bodywork. You could always lend a hand, Ted. Uh-uh, you're doing a grand job. Lazy bear, you just want Tina to do all the work. Shh, Abby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Petey, we're first at the fate. Ha-ha! <laughs> that just proves how wrong Frankie and Abby are. They always say they're faster than me, but we beat them to it. See him, Petey? No, Bobby. Where could he have gone to? I'll call Barney. No problem, Bobby. We'll look out for Timber. Hey, Raf? Yes, Barney? Look out for police dog Timber. He's gone for a walkabout and Tiffany's worried sick. We'll do, Barney. I'll get G to help too. Good thinking, Raf. Why would Timber disappear on the day of the fate? Don't know, G. He'll miss out on all the fun. That's the last of the apples, Mum. Hmm, I was hoping you'd be able to take the apples to the fate, but the toffee's still sticky. It won't take long to set. You could bring the toffee apples to the fate, along with the chocolate muffins. <laughs> OK, off you go. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Mum! Bye, Dad! Hey, Barney! That sounds like Abby! Hi, guys! I just got a call from Bobby. Timber's gone missing. What? Looks like he's run away. <laughs> Silly boy. He'll miss all the fun of the fate. Oh, quickly, come over here. Take a look at this. Don't be late for the fate. We'll be right with you. I'll just get the toffee apples. Hey, Petey. Can we have a ride? What's the matter, Tiffany? I've lost Timber. <laughs> Here comes the best policeman in town. Whoa! I don't need to ride around in Petey the police car to show how fast I am. Whee! Oh, oh. oh phew. 
I can smell smoke. Oh! This is a job for Frankie and the fire crew. But the fire crew and all the other emergency services are at the fate. In that case, this is a job for the bravest policeman in the city of Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Don't ask me. I can't hear anything when my siren's blaring. Let's hear it one more time, team. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Alfie. Are you sure we're not squashing you? You squashing me? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Look, Mia, there's Mum and Dad. going to lower you down. Hold on tight. We found Timber. He's stuck in a tree. Everybody stay calm. Elfie knows exactly what to do. Higher, Barney. Over to the left a bit. <coughs> Don't worry, Timber. I'll have you safely down in no time. after all he's been through. <gasps> I left the muffins in the oven. Oh, they'll be burnt to a cinder by now. If you left the oven on all afternoon, the cafe could be on fire. Make way! <laughs> Look what I've just rescued. Ta-da! <gasps> the chocolate muffins! <laughs> Thank you, Max. You're a hero. you do without me? It's another job well done in the City of Friends. <laughs> Gee, what's the matter? You sound awful. Yes, I've got a bad cough and cold, Raph. Oh, poor you. Wrap up warm and get some rest, G. <coughs> I'll try. <coughs> Tiffany, are you quite sure you don't mind me going fishing with Ted? Of course I don't mind, Bobby. You two deserve a father and son's day out. I hope the weather stays fine for you. Um, I will need Petey for the trip. What will Tiffany do without a police car, Bobby? If I need to get somewhere quickly, Max can take me on Scoot. And G's always here to pick up any radio messages. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got Timber too. I'm sure we can survive without you for one day, Bobby. <laughs> You've worked hard over your training period, Ted. A day out with your dad will do you the world of good. I feel bad leaving you on your own, Tina. Stop worrying, Ted. Just go and enjoy yourself. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Bye! Bye. Have fun! Woof, woof, woof. You so 
sound really poorly, G. Uh, uh, there's a traffic jam a mile long. <coughs> Traffic what, G? Traffic jam! <coughs> Stop talking, G. I'm going to phone the hospital. Tina, it's Tiffany. Can you come over and check out G? She's in a bad way. <coughs> <coughs> Timber Fetch! <laughs> City of Friends Police Department. Hello, there's a serious traffic jam a mile long at the City of Friends Central Road Junction. Thanks for letting me know. I'll get over there right away. Sorry, G. Is that what you were trying to tell me when you lost your voice? I've been in touch with Tina. She'll be over soon with some medicine for you, G. Max! Are you receiving me, Max? Don't worry, Tiffany. I can take care of the police station while you sort out the traffic jam. Yes! I'm in charge! OK, Timber. Let's get the City of Friends traffic moving again. <sighs> this is the life, Ted. You can say that again, Dad. If Bobby and Ted don't get back soon, they'll be in big trouble. <sighs> this is easy peasy. I just sit around waiting for a phone call. <laughs> City of Friends Police Department, Max speaking. How can I help? Max, I need you to get an urgent message to Tiffany. Tell her that the tide's coming in and I can't locate Ted and Bobby. Oh, will do, Petey. I'm in charge. Oh. <coughs> oh. Hey, gee, you sound terrible. I feel terrible. <coughs> I'm in charge. I'm going over to the hospital right away to get you some medicine, G. Whoops! Nearly forgot. Tell Tiffany that Petey phoned in with a message. Um, the tide's in and he's looking for Ted and Bobby, OK? No! <coughs> What are we going to do, Dad? Oh, I haven't a clue, Ted. Oh, looks like we're well and truly stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Tina. She's lost her voice and she can't stop coughing. Don't worry, Max. I'm on my way over to the police station with some medicine for her. How did you know she was ill? Tiffany phoned me earlier. Oh, hurry, Tina. She's in a terrible state. Hey, I'm in charge, and I think we deserve a break. Fancy a trip to the seaside, Scoot? Abby! Good to see you. Where's Tina? She's taking a look at G. Oh, I hope she gets better soon. We'd be lost without G in her tower, looking out for everybody in the City of Friends. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tina. How's G? She's got a high temperature and she's feverish. I've told her she must rest her voice. <coughs> Tiffany! Tiffany! <coughs> Petey's gone to fight Bobby. <coughs> high tide. If you don't rest, G, you're really going to make yourself ill. <coughs> Calling the emergency fire services. Calling Barney. Are you receiving me? Thanks for coming so quickly, Barney. I only hope we're not too late, Tiffany. Oh, look, Dad. Petey's coming to our rescue. Petey, my hero! <laughs> quickly, climb aboard before the tide gets even higher. Oh, thanks, Petey. Oh, thanks, Petey. You can do it, Petey. Come on, you can do it. Hey, Max! G, 
Did you pass on my message to Tiffany like I said, Max? Uh, not exactly. But I did tell G to tell Tiffany when she saw her. Oh, Max. Petey's radio's waterlogged, so we can't call out. Can we trust you to deliver a message to Tiffany, Max? Yes. Tell her we need help to pull Petey off the beach before the tide comes in. You need help to pull Petey off the beach before the tide comes in. Got it, Bobby? Don't let us down again, Max. Tiffany, I've got a message for you. You had a message a while ago, Max, but you failed to deliver it. I'm sorry, Tiffany, but I'm making up for it now. Petey's stuck on the beach with the tide coming in. He needs help right away. We're heading over there now. Come with us. We may need your help. OK, team. Let's move it. Hold on tight, Elfie. Throw the tow line to Petey, Elfie. Gotcha. Oh. oh! Take it away, Frankie. Come on, Petey, move. Yeah! Go, Frankie, go! Oh, thanks for rescuing us, Frankie. <laughs> All in a day's work, Ted. Bye, Dad. Let's go fishing again sometime. Yes, but next time we'll go when the tide's out, son. Can you wrap this scarf around G's throat, Tiffany, and give her a hot water bottle when she goes to bed? Of course I will, Tina. Thank you. Oh, I feel better already. Tina's woolly scarf is so warm and cosy. What a lot of people for a quiet day out in the city of friends. Ha, 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 ha,